welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anastasia. I am a licensed cosmetologist and lash technician. Um, and yeah, I guess that's all it is. I sometimes do YouTube videos. Uh, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> and yeah, so I know that judging by the title, y'all are like, T? What's a tea, sis? And yes, I have tea. It is crazy. It's very annoying and very unfortunate. Um, so if you guys are interested in hearing what happened, it's, I guess it's like a story time, sort of. It's like two story times mixed in one. Then just keep on watching. So I guess starting out, um, all of you may know, especially people that I used to work with, um, uh, people on Instagram, people in the waist training group, um, basically everywhere know that I love Fashion Nova, that I basically 95% or even smaller or larger than that, maybe like even 98% of my clothes are from Fashion Nova. Um, I always love shopping there. I love getting coupons and, you know, getting good deals and I just love their cute clothes and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of you are like, what's going on here? So basically there's two things like two stories that had happened so starting out um i had placed a super super large order so basically you know how when they do that buy more save more deal where you spend like a hundred dollars you get fifty dollars off you spend two hundred dollars you get 150 whatever you know those those big deals that they do sometimes and they do it like maybe three or four times a year uh, mixed in with their 30 percent off and 40 percent off sales yes so i did it when they did their buy more save more um, and this was a back at March 17th is when this happened. I placed a super huge order. This is the largest order I've ever placed. Um, before that, I did spend a lot of money with Fashion Nova, uh, but it wasn't like super big orders. There was always like, a couple things that I would buy. Black Friday I would do, um, and a lot of things like that. This time, I decided to buy my, my husband some clothes too. So I got him, uh, this is my first time shopping Fashion Nova men. So I bought him a bunch of jeans, I bought him a bunch of shirts, and then for me, I bought me a couple dresses, um, a pair of boots, like, you know, I, I spent a good amount of money. It was at least $300. Um, which is a lot for me. So basically what happened was if the shipping was fine, shipping was prompt um, when they sent it out. So when it was time for it to get to me, I remember I was in my living room, my husband was there, my sister was here, and I literally got a like the notification from UPS saying your package was delivered like an email and then I got an email from Fashion Nova saying great news your, your order has been delivered and tells you the time. So I was like okay so keep in mind I live in an apartment complex so I was like okay so I went out looked outside and there's nothing there so I was like um there's nothing outside what do you mean delivered so I, I looked around went outside checked around I didn't see anything so I was just like uh okay so you know first things first I immediately call UPS, uh, UPS. so keep in mind since um, I know a lot of you or those who do live in an apartment complex have like a main office and before the quarantine started happening and the lockdown started happening um, a lot of shipping companies FedEx UPS USPS um, DHL Amazon if you have like big packages or if they're lazy they'll put it in the front office instead of going through every apartment you know letters looking for the apartment letter they're supposed to go to so they it made it easier for them I guess to just take it to the office and then we go get it um, which is fine that's fine um, at least I know it's there so since offices have been closed which I'm pretty sure a hundred percent all of y'all's apartment complexes offices are closed and they're not taking packages anymore for now um, mine is closed all of a sudden now they have to go to each person's house so because of that they're starting to become lazy and just delivering them to the wrong address so that's exactly what happened to me so I called UPS I was on hold for about 30 minutes and the lady told me that oh I see that he delivered it to the wrong address so I was like okay so what does that mean what are you gonna do she said that she was gonna send him out to go back and get it since we just caught it 30 minutes prior and turn make him turn around go get it and bring it back so I was like okay and then they will call me back the whole day passes that was around three something the whole day passes and I never got a call back and they never came back so the next day I'm calling again because I was upset so I called in the morning and I told them what happened with the other representative said and then this person is saying that um, now they're gonna file a claim and told me that tell them how much it costs like the package and stuff just in case they don't recover it and all of that blah 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 and um, I went through the whole fraud or not fraud but like claim thing 
and they told me they were gonna call me back. And I told them about how the lady yesterday was supposed to call me back and she didn't. Um, so they were like, we're so sorry about that. We're gonna make sure that we make it right. So keep in mind, I decided that I 100% emailed Fashion Nova about it because when you think about it, you gotta contact the merchant as well and be like, hey, I didn't ever get my package. Um, so I haven't received an email from them yet. So moving on to UPS. So I called them later on that night because I still didn't hear anything. And I was like, look, this is a very, very expensive package that is just up and missing and I don't know what to do. And they told me to, then the next person told me to contact Fashion Nova. So I was like, okay. Um, and they said that they're still doing the little investigation about the package that we're missing. So of course, by this time, Fashion Nova did reply. And I'm gonna read you what they said. Um, so they said, hi Anna, thank you for reaching out to Fashion Nova's customer care team. I'm sorry to hear your package seems to be missing. I can look into this for you. We have taken a closer look at the tracking of your package and it shows it was shipped out from our warehouse on Tuesday, March 10th. And in coordination with UPS, it looks like your package was delivered on March 16th, 2020. Since your package is lost or stolen, it's required that you contact UPS and file a claim, blah, blah, blah. And then it gives you all the information on how to file a claim and then at the bottom it says we look forward to the opportunity to serve your fashion needs again soon and you may use the code blah 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 to receive 25 percent off your purchase so i was like are you kidding so i did reply and i said ups didn't um ups delivered my package to the wrong address and i can't recover it i'm highly upset as i needed those items for this weekend and it was almost 300 dollars order and then I replied again and said, I called and they aren't being very helpful. I shop with you guys all the time and this is the most I've ever spent. I'm very upset because I needed these items for the weekend and was most excited for the boots. It feels like you guys aren't doing much to help me either. And that's a lot of money to just be lost. So then they replied again and I said, hi, Anna. Or, Dear Anna, thank you for choosing Fashion Nova. We are happy to work with you on the recovery of your package. We recommend completing a UPS claim as soon as possible and going through all that kind of stuff. Then it says, our packages are insured, and by opening a claim with the carrier, an investigation will be conducted in hopes of locating the, this package. So, again, it was kind of a useful or a useless email. Basically, a automated email is what it felt like, and I was very upset. So basically, I'm realizing that you, uh, Fashion Nova wasn't gonna do anything for me. Um, so, fast forward again, I, I literally was calling UPS every single day. To some people, that may seem excessive. To me, it wasn't, because that was a lot of money. That was $300 that you're basically saying I'm lost out on. You, uh, Fashion Nova won't do nothing for me. I called uh, my bank, which the thing is, I used a work, like so, I work for Darden, or use, or yeah, whatever. Work for Darden, and um, they have like a little like a credit union, so they have like a Darden card. So that's what I used to pay for this order, and they have a whole different process system. I know if I would have went with my personal bank, um, like if I had paid with my personal bank, they probably would have did that quicker. But whatever. Um, so yeah, so that was quite upsetting. And then um, calling UPS every day, literally, each person had a different answer each person has something different and like it was it felt like they were leading me on some sort of like wild goose chase and it was very very upsetting i was very pissed um like really upset and imagine if that happened to you you would be very upset just like you're just out money because these people are taking forever to find the package they don't know what's going on and they're sending you every which way so then the next representative i got told me that the package was recovered and that i can set that they were going to deliver it to me that day or whatever like they were going to deliver it again um and i told them that i would go get it because i wasn't going to be home that day so they sent it instead the next day to be picked up so at the office and they told me it would be there at the office so i was like okay at, uh, what not office but like ups uh headquarter thing that they have where i live um there's one not too far next morning i got up super early with my husband and we drove to go get my package um we were there and the people working there were like your package isn't here we don't know where that is. So I was like, I want to speak to a supervisor. Now, the thing is um, that I forgot to mention that each time I did call UPS, I did ask for a supervisor, but they always were like, oh, no, 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 I can help you. This, I could do that, like whatever, whatever. And honestly, like I'm the kind of person who's very, um, I'm not aggressive. I, you know, I hate confrontation. So I wasn't that kind of person to be like, get me on the bleeping phone or give me the supervisor, you know, that kind of crazy thing. I am not like that and I hate, com like, situations like that so that's why every time I did ask for a supervisor and they cut me off and did something else I was just like whatever I'm a Taurus um 
Now, not a lot of Tauruses are like me, but for some reason, that's just... Mm, I'm not a confrontational person. Um, so, this time, I was like, I want to speak to a supervisor. Because I was face-to-face -face with this lady. And she went to call the supervisor because the fact, like, the factory was huge. Huge. That's where all the UPS trucks go from. The big trucks that bring the packages. Like, it was huge. Um, and then the lady, because she was on the phone with her, she told me that I had to answer her on the phone because she was somewhere in the warehouse. And it wasn't going to be enough time for her to come get me, come to me. So, I was like, okay, whatever, whatever. I, answered, I talked to her on the phone. And she told me that based off what she was seeing, um, they haven't even recovered. It. So I was like, okay, but why did somebody on the representative team told me it was located and told me to come get it? So like, you know, you guys are wasting my time here. And she was like, I'm so sorry about that. Blah blah blah. They really couldn't do much. She's basically, she told me I had to wait. That's all I could do. So I was pretty much very pissed because like literally my money's in limbo. My money's in limbo. So I decided, you know, I'm like, you know what? Drop it. I'm just gonna drop it because I've been stressing over this for a week and my blood pressure is just, it's not worth it, not worth it. So that's what I did. I let it go. Literally, I think maybe two days later, um, I get a knock on my door. I answered the door and this random lady is at the door with holding a big Fashion Nova package. She told me that she was out of um, town for a week and shit. She was so sorry and that she had just got back and saw the package and was like, that's not mine. And she came to look for me. So I was like, oh my God, thank you so much for bringing it back to me. Like, I really thought it was lost, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh no, girlfriend, I won't do you like that. And I was like, thank you. I am so, like, oh, that made, it literally made my whole day. The package was literally unopened. It was, it was perfect. Um, Keep in mind, Fashion Nova did nothing. UPS basically did nothing. Um, so I'm going to read you, I am also in like a Fashion Nova review group on Facebook, and I'm going to read you what um, somebody had commented, because of course I posted about it in the Facebook group because I was so upset, because a lot of people on there buy from Fashion Nova. Obviously it's a review group, you review your products you got. Um, and so this is what somebody said. So someone said, I had this happen in reverse. I placed an order and UPS brought me my order and someone else's. The box was huge, so I'm sure I had a, t a ton of stuff. Anyway, since I wasn't home when they left it, I, I called UPS, who said I needed to call Fashion Nova to have them request a driver come back. I emailed Fashion Nova and three days later they told me to keep the clothes and make sure I take pictures and tag them on social media. I was mad because if that was my order, I would be pee trying to not curse um but they refused to send them back for it it was about a week before i could send it back myself i paid the shipping two weeks later i got a gift card from fashion nova in my email for 450 dollars for the return i still have the email my brother-in-law is a cop he said he said keep it and don't use it for six months if they don't do something on their end to make it right i have a right to keep it shaking my head are you kidding they can do something like that for someone who receives someone else's package, but can't do anything for somebody who actually lost her package? Like, I totally get that that was not her fault why she received the gift card. 100%. 100%. She, did the, she tried to do the right thing by shipping it back. But if they can send her that much money of a gift card, but can't do anything for people who actually lost their package, what kind of company is that? Yes, I know that this could be a he said, she said. I highly doubt that she made something like that up. I can believe that you, uh, Fashion Nova can do something like that. But for them to say, like, oh, that's not my problem... Are you kidding? So then, okay, I was like, okay, whatever. I do get the benefit of the doubt, or give them the benefit of the doubt, like, hey, I, we did, as a company, we did our part and shipped you your package. Once it was shipped, it's out of our hands. Um, okay, I can see that, but at the same time, it's still your company's reputation. Still your company's reputation. Amazon. Let's put Amazon, for example. Yes, big, huge company. If a package never gets to you, they will either refund you if it gets delivered to the wrong address, they'll refund you or they'll ship you out a, new, a replacement. Honestly, like literally, what, a week or two ago, we, we bought some cat toy for our cat um, and literally we got the email saying, you know, your package is delivered from Amazon. And when we checked our site, it wasn't there. So we're like, great. They delivered the wrong package to somewhere else. We were, delivered our package to the wrong place. Um, contacted Amazon. They told us to wait a day to see if it comes, which is fine. And then the next day, when we contacted them, like, hey, it never came, um, they asked us, do you want a refund or do you want it reshipped? And we said reshipped. And they shipped it with no issues. Like, Fashion Nova is not a broke company. They make lots of money. So you can't afford, like, and then you, you mentioned this insurance. So you can't take, like, a couple dollars or whatever I, I mean it all depends on how many times this happens but if this happens a lot and this is something that you get all the time doesn't that think you should contact UPS and be like hey y'all need to do something because now this is affecting our business am I the only one who thinks that am I wrong for that for thinking that because me as a business owner if that was happening to me and someone was like hey I never got my package I'm going to be like I hey I'm so sorry like uh, I, I get it that was not my fault I shipped it 
but I need to make that right because these are my customers. These are my customers who paid me. Right? It's just so, it's very upsetting because of course this is UPS's fault and Fashion Nova's fault. Fashion Nova's fault for not being more like sympathetic. That's our hard earned money. This, this is how, you, like you've become a multi-million dollar company because of us. Without us, you would be nothing. You know, like I'm very, I'm very upset. So moving on. So recently, I, you know, my dumb self decided to buy more, buy more stuff because I got my other package. So I was like, okay, whatever. I, this time it was not very big. I bought two pairs of shoes, like high heel shoes and some jeans. That's it. About $80. Um, and it was shipped promptly. And then it said it was delivered. It wasn't here. It wasn't outside my door. And guess who the company who was supposed to ship it or who was delivering it? UPS. And of course, went missing. Contacted UPS immediately, and the lady or the man took the claim or whatever, and he said that literally lately this has been the top complaint is that people aren't receiving their packages. So obviously UPS needs to get it together. Like, I just, it's ridiculous. It's 100% ridiculous. This is people's money. Literally people's money. So they told me that the department, the claims department again was going to contact me and I expressed how upset I was because this is not the first time this has happened and the first time this happened it was like a wild goose chase and y'all did nothing. So, um, he transferred, or not transferred me, he told me they'll call me back and they actually did. Very short time later, the uh, claim department or whatever, the investigation team contacted me and the lady was so nice. She was so helpful. She was just like, she goes, oh no, this is unacceptable, especially this is the second time this has happened to you. I'm so sorry about that. She goes, I'm going to send him back to go get it. Now, here's the thing. She told me she was going to call me back that night. She didn't. And then she told me she was going to contact me yesterday. She didn't. So, mm, that kind of sucks. Um... I still don't have my package. I still don't have my money. Um, I, of course, email Fashion Nova and I will read you what they said. <clears throat> I gotta find it because I was reading the other one. So I literally emailed them this on April 22nd, which was, what, a couple days ago because today is the 25th. So I said, hi, I ordered two pairs of shoes and some jeans and the package went missing once again. You guys didn't help me last time when UPS delivered my package to the wrong address. It was a $300 package and they did it again. I'm beyond upset because this seems to be keep happening and I love your company, but it makes me not want to shop with you anymore as you didn't help me last time and I don't think you'll help me this time. My order number is this and my name. So then the guy answers and says, dear Nova fam, I'm sorry for the inconvenience that you were experiencing with the delivery of your purchase. I'm glad to assist you. We're sorry to hear that you're experiencing this issues. Our record indicates that your package was delivered. So we strongly recommend that you contact UPS about your package. Please also check with neighbors, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it says, if it stays delivered, Fashion Nova can no longer accept responsibility for the package. However, we are happy to work with you on the recovery of your package. We recommend completing a USPS, UPS claim as soon as possible. And it tells you how to explain. Like, so then I, I, I emailed back because I was livid. I, I, so upset. So I said, this is literally terrible. Can you guys not get in contact with UPS about it? Because this is literally the second time. I already spoke to UPS and they are looking for it. I spend so much money with you guys and it feels like that you guys just don't care. Look, Looks like you will be losing a lifelong customer and I'll be leaving a YouTube review, which is what I'm doing, um, and along with other social media platforms on this company. You think a company who makes so much money would try to figure out why something like this keeps happening. I'm disappointed in you guys, especially since last time I spent over $300 and you guys did nothing. Like, yes, I know my following is not that large. Um, I know that. I'm fully aware of that. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they see this to understand. Like, I'm hoping that more people come forward about issues that they're having with companies like this. Not only Fashion Nova, but UPS, so something can be done. Like, we're just losing money here. Our money's just up and missing. Who's to say that wherever my package went, this person would be nice enough, like the first person, to bring my, my package back? You know? Like, it's, that's not always gonna happen. Go check around with your neighbors. What if your, what if your neighbor already got it? You knock on the door and they're like, no, I don't have it. You know, they're not always going to be 100% truthful. They can't just expect that to happen. I think that's just terrible customer service is 100% disgusting. And I'm just, I'm, I'm fed up with it. Like, literally, I will not be shopping with Fashion Nova anymore. Uh, I will not be promoting them anymore. No, I'm not going to throw away all my clothes because, like, that's all I got. Um, but... That's the moral of the story. Um, I hope you guys share this video so that way it reaches more people so more and more people can see the shadiness that is behind Fashion Nova because that's just ridiculous. Now, this, this video would have never been made if they would have 
done something about it. If they would have, even if they would have said, okay, we're gonna reach out to UPS and figure out why this keeps happening because that's unacceptable. I'm so sorry about that. I would have accepted that because then it felt like they're actually trying to help me. But instead they send you automated messages because they don't care because they got their coin. Like it's just, it's so, it's, it's disgusting and it's very upsetting. Um, and I'm sorry to anybody else that this may have happened to. Um, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous and they need to get it together. This, it, they're going to lose more and more customers. Um, and more and more people will probably start to boycott them if they continue to be this way. To basically be money hungry, a money hungry company. Because that's not how you run a company. And then that's not how you take care of your customers. Like I would have accepted half credit back. You know, I would have taken that. Because at least it's something. At least they did something. But they're literally just be like, well, we got paid. We don't care. Whatever. And UPS is just doing nothing because they're sending these drivers who don't care and just delivering to the wrong address all the time. Now, 100%, I get it. Mistakes happen. I, I understand that. But it's one thing for it to be a mistake. It's another thing when it's the same driver, when they let me know that it's the same driver who does the same route, and this is the second time this has happened. And then for the claim department lady to let me know that he does this often. How come you're not doing anything about it? Anyways, I hope that this shed some light on some people um, on the company Fashion Nova. Um, I really loved their products. They're, you know, and now it looks like they messed that up. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your afternoons, mornings, whenever you see this. Bye.